Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you're all having a wonderful Sunday thus far. And so of course in this video we'll be taking a look at what is currently going on across the region. And as you would have seen from the thumbnail, there have been two new uh, predictions for this hurricane season. So we're going to be looking at that as well as that possible system that models have been showing for the latter parts of this week. And so before I go into to details please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you don't miss an important update on what is going on out there okay so let's go ahead and return to this satellite imagery here of the caribbean and so we're seeing that there is quite some activity uh in some sections of the region especially the eastern part of the basin however going over to the western side where we have the yucatan belize other parts of central america the cayman islands parts of cuba and jamaica hispaniola even now puerto rico and the virgin islands you guys are likely waking to some beautiful sunshine this morning as we kick start the new week however over in the lesser Antilles there is quite some activity as I said so possibly some overcast conditions and even some showers for some of you guys over there and things look a bit overcast now and then for the ABC Islands so uh, not a whole lot of dense cloud cover noted within that area and uh, if you would notice to the north of Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands that is what is left of the activity that was in association with that trough so uh, we we saw quite a bit of activity with the system over the last couple of days and you guys have been experiencing some rainfall for a while but this morning it's a change beautiful sunshine is there and uh, conditions have improved so now let's go ahead and take a look at the latest runs uh, from four models in terms of that Gulf system that is anticipated and so uh, the National Hurricane Center still has not highlighted an area to watch just yet and so uh, we could still possibly see that system develop maybe a subtropical storm because we've had models being very consistent about it so we're going to be kick starting with the gfs and so this is as we're going to be heading into the next few days and um and uh, as I do in each video, I explain what we're looking for on this map here to cater for potential new viewers. So if you're not familiar with it, this uh, those black lines, they're called isobars and they represent areas of equal pressure. So what we're looking for is seeing them in a circular manner with an L at the center. That is showing that it is a low pressure area. And the more isobars we see and the tighter they are, the more compact they are, that indicates a stronger system. So as for the GFS, as we're going to be heading into uh, Tuesday and going into Wednesday, we can see that there is all that activity, uh, not seeing much organization from the system, not seeing those circular isobars. However, we do see all that activity make its way into parts of the uh, Gulf Coast states of the U.S., Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, even into Florida as well, uh, as we're going to be heading into the latter part of this week. So GFS is backing off a little bit in terms of how strong they initially expected that the system would be and then going on to the euro model euro is also showing that low pressure area we're not seeing that L, but uh, definitely seeing those isobars being there and showing the system moving into Louisiana something a bit similar to what the GFS is expecting and then eventually as it moves inland that activity would dissipate and then the CMC however is showing a defined system showing something a little bit stronger than what the GFS and euro are expecting here so pretty interesting and then it is showing that the system is going to be moving inland as we head to probably late thursday going into friday and then finally the icon is consistent with all these models in terms of where inland the system will go which is louisiana and notice that all that activity those colors those greens especially that we're seeing is more to the north of the center of the system based on what we've seen for the models now that is likely due to the wind shear so uh that would likely displace some of that shower and thunderstorm activity to the north and east so that is what the models are expecting guys and uh 
as for me, I really don't think that we're going to be seeing a strong system, but maybe a weak subtropical storm at the most, because it's not like this is going to be lingering over warm ocean waters for a very long time. Even if this does not achieve a tropical or subtropical status, if there is enough convective activity in association with it, it can still do some damage in terms of the heavy rainfall, uh, that it is likely to dump on the various areas that are in its path. And so, of course, I'm going to be keeping you updated as we head throughout this week. And now let's go ahead and delve into the newest predictions out for the Atlantic hurricane season. And so we have the tropical storm risk at the University of Arizona. So the tropical storm risk is now expecting 12 named storms, of which six could become hurricanes and two major hurricanes. And in case you're not familiar a major hurricane is basically category three four or five so this is basically uh, slightly decreasing the number of storms they expected last december when they gave their first prediction which was 13 so the only change with this update is that they're now expecting 12 and this is like an average season a slightly below average season that they're expecting uh due to that expected el nino that could develop during the latter part of this year now as for the university of Arizona, we're seeing some numbers completely contrasting that. So they're expecting an above average season, an active season, 19 named storms of which nine could become hurricanes and five major hurricanes. Now this here is quite interesting. Uh, this would be something closer to what we would see in potentially and so neutral conditions or La Nina conditions. So, uh, Let's wait and see what's going to be happening, as I said, guys, because nothing that we're seeing now is going to fully uh, guarantee that, yes, this is what we're going to be seeing this hurricane season. We're talking about uh, activity that is expected in the coming several months, so quite some time away, and there can be many changes and unexpected changes as well as time goes by. So we really just have to wait and see, but this is just to give you an idea of what is expected by these different sources or agencies. So uh, those are the numbers. So guys, that is what is going on. And of course, I'm going to be keeping you updated as we progress, as I said, in terms of that Gulf system that is expected. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I'll try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And you can also share your thoughts there. And remember to always be with the wise.